Okay, now it's about time we headed for the story mission, which is really freaking far away, so I will go ahead and fast travel. And if I'm not mistaken, this might just be the last mission of sequence four. So, yay. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. Either way, I'm excited to continue the story because I love it. Whack! Bitch. Yeah, I switched our weapons around too. I think I might have Eevee with the Kukri blade now. And uh, Jacob's got the cane, the cane sword, so yeah. But uh, speaking of... I don't need to reload. I said I was going to switch to Eevee, so let's go ahead and do that now. There we go. Why don't you take a break? What is that? That is a weird Helix Glitch symbol. Hold on a minute. Social collectible. Discovered by me? Okay. I guess you're welcome. I don't fucking know. Get up the building! Eevee, Eevee you disappoint me. Okay, where is this thing? Oh, it's in the tree, is it? Oh! I think I got it. Did I get it? The location of this social glitch has been shared with your friends. Well, goody, goody, goody. Oh, so that's what those are. I'm awarded 10 Helix credits for finding a social glitch. Cool! Alright, here we go. Who's this? Would this happen to be Darwin? Oh, he's got an umbrella. Overdose. It is Darwin! Hello, sir! Again, not reading the synopses, and I'm switching back to Jacob. I guess he said he would meet me at Lambeth Asylum, and that's where we are, so... Alright, never mind! We're playing as Jacob still. <laughs> Damn, I want to play as Eevee more. I just, I love Jacob. I love Eevee too, but Jacob just makes me laugh. Mr. Fry. Sup? I trust that you had a productive meeting with Mr. Owen. Oh, much. Oh, yes. Very we much had so. the most wonderful chat. I found out the man behind Star Soothing Syrup is John Elliotson. Dr. Elliotson. I haven't heard that name in a long while. He was a brilliant heart specialist until he became obsessed with phrenology and mesmerism. It ruined his career. Hmm. Well, how shall we proceed? Oh, with all respect, Mr. Darwin, I believe I should proceed alone. After all, we wouldn't want to attract any unwanted attention. Oh, you! Sounds very wise. Well, shucks. Good luck, my boy. Thank you, Mr. Darwin. Oh, and uh, Mr. Fry, should you find yourself with any free time, please do call on me. Oh, good. I would love to. Thank you. <laughs> well, I'm so glad he came all this way to meet me here, and then I just kind of dismissed him and said, I don't need, I don't need your help. But all right. Two skills, you say, huh? Well, maybe I should go ahead and do that before I walk in here, because I'm pretty sure this is an assassination contract. Let me see. That would actually save a lot of time, so there we go. All right, so now when I kill somebody, I automatically loot their bodies. I don't have to stop and loot them separately. Cool. All right, I must reach the vantage point. Oh my, this is just Mount Massive all over again. <laughs> this almost looks like the Ingomar Club, which is a, a big Victorian style mansion in um, Arcata? It's up near Humboldt area. Uh, my sister went to college to Humboldt State, so I went up there a couple times. It was uh, very, very beautiful, and it's always rainy like this, that's why I liked it. But, uh, yeah, our hotel was, like, right around the corner from all those Victorian mansions, and they were beautiful. I have pictures. Maybe I'll put one in, I don't know. Let's see if I remember. <laughs> Probably won't. All right, synchronize! Also, I guess you guys can't tell, but I'm wearing my Assassin's Creed hoodie. It's got hidden blades on the sleeves and the logo here. Yeah, I know, I'm so cool, right? And I was actually gonna end up... I was gonna save this hat for when Assassin's Creed Chronicles Russia came out. But, uh, it was taking way too long and fuck it. It's cold today, so I wanted to wear it. Alright. <sighs> Where am I going now? Down there. Well, alrighty then. I'll just get a helix glitch! There we go. Whee! We reached the vantage point. There's no such thing as a vantage point in a building. Don't play games with me. Oh shit. Ow. Hold on. I want to get up there. I want to get in that window. 
get in there, broski. Where would I find the doctor? Probably in the surgery wing, because that's not creepy at all. Oh my god, I'm getting outlast flashbacks here. Put some pants on, dude. Oh, of course, in the freaking observation room. The medical theater, whatever. Surgery theater, whatever it's called. Oh! Oh, Jesus Christ! Oh. As you've just witnessed, the application of too much pressure can sometimes result in unexpected outcomes. Unfortunately, it appears I've ruined the organ. Send up a cadaver. At once, Dr. Lidson. Okay, wait, can I, like, totally... Oh, I'm gonna disguise myself as the doctor. The cadaver deliverer. I don't care about your ethics, and I care even less about your damn patients. Now hand over your keys. Okay. What are you doing? Haven't you heard? You're fired. Now bugger off. Oh. Oh, nice bloody handprint on the window. Who put that there? All right. Unique kill. I want to do the unique kill opportunity. At first, I was thinking I could totally, like, disguise myself as one of the bodies and he'll just carry me right in, but no, I'm going to end up carrying the body in to get close to him. Okay, um, I would like to help out that nurse, but, uh, I'm going to go for the cadaver thing. Halt the electroconvulsive therapy session. How to do it. Do not fire a single bullet. Well, I guess then I'll just switch to my throwing arms right now. Okay. Halt the therapy session? What therapy session are you talking? Because that's not a therapy session. That's a, that's a, that's a thingy. I forget what you call them. Okay. Well, where is this? Aha! Down there. Unlocks unique kill. Take the place. Oh my god! It totally is. Take the place of the cadaver to reach the medical theater. Strategy: hide the corpse. Ooh. Is anyone alive out there? Can anyone hear me? Oh, that looks promising. Hold on. I think he's walking away from me, so... Whoop! Aha! I found a way down. With bad people. If I can kidnap this guy. Hello! Well, that didn't work very well, did it? Excuse me! <laughs> Let me try this again. No! Oh. My plan is to kidnap that guy and then wander him through. I don't know if that's gonna work, but uh, I guess we'll find out. Oops. Wrong trigger. Maybe I won't have to. Uh oh, that could be an issue. Well, that goes up. I don't want to go up. I want to go down. Oh, of fucking course. Okay, I'm definitely gonna need to kidnap this guy and see if it works. Experiments. What? <laughs> Jinx. Uh, I'm gonna see if it works. Don't you dare check in this curtain. Come here, you. I recommend you stop struggling. Okay, well, if they're down there, they won't suspect anything if I'm up here. So I don't have to worry about going slow until I get downstairs. And I have the perk where he won't try to escape, so this will be... Ah, perfect. Out of the way, woman. I'm hoping this works. No, no trouble. Keep going, buddy. Uh, where can I not in there? Alrighty, let's go this way. Ooh. It's working! <laughs> it's working! Oh, everyone just act cool. 
Act casual. Oh, the morgue. Okay, this seems like this is the right way. And yeah, there's the uh, electroconvulsive therapy over there. So, uh-oh. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I have plan. Just don't know if plan is going to work. Just, okay, just move back in here just for a sec. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you, dude! No! Hey, stay away! Stay out of my circle! Stay out of my personal bubble! Alright, that was a little close. Okay. What's wrong with him? Three guesses! Dipshits? I'll be back in a second, dude. I'll free you in a moment. Just let me wander down these stairs. Nobody comes into the stairwell. Okay, so let's speed up a little bit. And... MURDER! There. Now I will use smoke bomb. After that guy goes away. I hope these guys won't see me. Maybe they're too busy doing the therapy. Oh, God. Hurry up and leave, dude! I want to help this guy. No worries. I'll just beat the shit out of everybody. I was going to do it stealthily, but... Fuck it, I'm Jacob Fry! You're next! save him, but I spared him for a few brief moments. Alrighty. Uh-oh. Maybe I should, uh... Oh, I hope he doesn't look up the stairs. I'm not sure if that helps. Oh, whatever, it'll help. Okay. I wonder why. God, that screaming. I believe that's a, a scream used in, uh... Bridewell is Assassin's Creed 3, if I remember correctly. Come here, buddy! Okay. I like the automatic loot system. It's very efficient. Okay. Ugh. I feel like Michael Scott from The Office. I hate hospitals. In my mind, they are associated with sickness. <laughs> Fucking retard. Come here, buddy. Ha! Alright, I'm doing good here. Kind of ish. <laughs> oh, that guy. That, that corpse. Okay, I just wait for him to go. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. I don't know where I'm hiding this guy. I don't know where I'm hiding this guy. Oh, okay. Okay, I'm gonna put the body in here. Everything will be fine! There! Now I must get on the stretcher. I'm sure- will he not notice how I'm dressed like a badass? Uh-oh. Okay. Get in the bed. Okay! Okay! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! I'm doing it! Nice going, Jacob. <laughs> this is so creepy, but awesome. <laughs> uh. Wow. He's taking me right to him. Oh my god! <laughs> Here it is, Doctor. It's not exactly subtle, I'm doing it in a theater full of people, but... We will continue our experiment shortly. In the moment, we will compare the brains of our two specimens. Since both specimens had a propensity towards violent behavior, we should see similar protrusions in specific parts of their brain. STAY OUT OF MY BRAIN! 
screw you, bitch. And the theater is perfectly fine with everything that just transpired because he's a nutcase. All right. That was fucking the awesome. Ends. Yet I can only think of beginnings. A better tomorrow. Forged with the blood of visionaries. All I see is the blood of a lunatic. Yeah. Do you truly believe murdering an old man will stop humanity's great architect? No, but it helps. Crawford Starrick has a glorious design for mankind. Oh, I'm sure. Designs are meant to be broken. Ooh. A child. A child who believes he can solve all the world's woes with a flick of a blade. Have you ever pondered the consequences of your actions, Jacob Fry? Have you? Or did your father teach you nothing? You knew my father? No, Jacob. I am your father. No! <laughs> oh, goodness. Got him. I'm so, but when he- I'm sorry, but when he's talking to the dead guys, and he has that, like, glare in his eyes, it's like, it gives me shivers. <laughs> and I love it. Okay, it's time to go. Help. Nah, everything's fine. Don't worry about it. How on earth do I get out of here? Oh, you guys are level sixes. You're my level. I could probably beat you, but ah! Not if you get in my fucking way. Ah! Okay, that hurt a little bit. Touche, sir. Ow, that hurt a little bit more. Where are I now? Oh, 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 Okay, how do I get out of here now? How did I even get in here in the first place? Um, uh, class dismissed. <laughs> I'm lost. I guess we'll go over here. Hello. Can I only- can I not do double kills with a cane sword? <laughs> That'd be freaking awesome. Maybe I just haven't gotten lucky enough yet. Oh, shut up. Don't call for the guards. Somebody's calling for help. That's not exactly a good thing. Oh, oh, stairs. There's stairs this way, so I shall go up them! Nobody sees me. Who's that gentleman? Okay. Eh. Ha! I still need to get away from the asylum, but at least I'm out. Okay. Hold on a minute. And out! Alrighty! The doctor is dead, and I got full sync. Because I'm so freaking awesome! Okay, that was freaking cool. So, what'd you do today, Jacob? Oh, I pretended to be a dead guy. There we go. The end of sequence four, just like I thought. Didn't exactly do that flawlessly, but oh. Oh, it's the end of sequence four. Okay, sweet. And it's been expired. And do you think their production has ceased? Outrageous! Fry intends to Crawford invade Static. all of London at the hands of the mob. Or perhaps he doesn't intend much of anything at all. Thank you. Simply content to dice with our lives. The asylum is shut up. Medical care throughout the city is in disarray. He does not, cannot understand the consequences of his actions. The man is clearly an anarchist. Gentlemen. From what I've seen of this guy, he's a bit of a maniac. By a ship. Then up from the harbor to a factory. Where it was packaged and ferried by carriage to my door. Unpacked in the larder and brought upstairs to me. Okay, good for All you. All by men and women who work for me. Who are indebted to me. Crawford Starrick. For their jobs, the time, the very lives they lead. They will work in my factories and so too shall their children. 
And you come to me with talk of this Jacob Fry. This insignificant blemish who calls himself... Ouchie. You disrespect He's a very beautiful the very blemish. <laughs> works day and night so that we may drink this. This miracle, this tea. Well, I'm glad your goals are set so high, bro. Search. Our beloved London shall not suffer such a bothersome fool for much longer. And what of this sister I've heard of? Miss Fry. Miss Fry shall be gutted. Well, wait until we see what happens. <sighs> Delicious. 